Thank you. Uh, now we're gonna do some one-man skeet. Since I ain't got a automatic skeet launcher, because I haven't bought one yet, we're gonna see how this works. Gonna give me some ear pro on. Ah, that got it. But what's up with that? A little loose right there. Let's try this again. Let's see what's going on here. I don't know why that thing's loose. That'll do. Let's see if we can get that fixed though. What the crap? Look at that. Huh. All right, so I got the tools. Here's the Stoger, it's a Stoger 3000. The 3000s and the 3500s all have the same kind of issue where after 500 or so shells, this buttstock starts coming loose. So a, what we need to do, take a Phillips head screwdriver, we're gonna come back to the back side of the buttstock. Here, we'll unscrew this buttstock. Get unscrewed. So you grab your 5 8 and you get in there. Now, you can take this bolt off and see if there's a lock washer. All right, so when you put this stock back on, there's a hard washer that's in there. You gotta make sure it sits in there properly. So you got the hard washer. And that's just, it's flush in there. Only way I figured out how to get it is and drop it in there. See if you can make it work. Maybe those old arcade games we used to play. There we go. So that's in there. And then you're gonna put your buttstock back on, feed it through the hole. Make sure you don't mess up that washer like I just did. Kind of finagle it, push it in. There we go. Now here's the part, lock washer. That's the secret if you don't want to um, have to keep doing this. Best way to get one of these little magnets so you can fish it onto that post. Get it on there, just like so. Take your nut, put it in your deep socket. There you go. Set that bad boy on there. Screw it in place. All right. Torque, set that on, put your buttstock back in place. Probably be a lot easier with an electric drill, but sometimes it's better just to finesse things by hand. Sometimes the drill is just too much power, and I ain't trying to break my buttstock. And there you go. Look at that, nice and tight. No more wobble. All right, that's pretty fun right there. That uh, that's how you fix the, the stock on them guns, because nobody wants to deal with a bad stock or a flimsy stock. And I need more practice with this skeet, so I'm gonna keep shooting. You guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.